بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على نبي الكريم وبارك Your Excellency Muhammad Buhari GCFR President Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Your Excellency Professor Yemi Osimbanjo GCON Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency Senator Dr. Ahmed Ibrahim Lawal, PhD, Senate President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller, Speaker, House of Representatives, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency Governor Mayamala Buni. Chairman, Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. Your Excellencies, all our progressive governors here present, members of the Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, the leadership are member, principal officers of the National Assembly, zonal leaders of our great party, Chairmen and members of all state working committees, leaders of the party at various levels, delegates of 2022 National Convention, members of the fourth estate of the REM, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of my colleagues, the newly elected members of the National Working Committee of our great party, the Old Progressive Congress, APC, I like to express our gratitude to the Almighty God, our very sincere thanks to our leader and father of this great nation, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mamadou Buhari, GCFR, Progressive governors in the fold of our party, the chairman and members of the Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, delegates to the convention, to all leaders of our various levels, as well as all members of our great party nationwide, for electing us into these positions of very high responsibility. We accept the mandate that you have placed on our shoulders. And we will work hard to ensure that we fulfill your expectations for the greater good of our great party and our very dear great country. I wish to also congratulate our great party, men and women, who also are spared to occupy these national offices of our great party. They did not succeed this time, but in God's time, many of them will yet realize their ambitions to serve our party and country in many other positions of responsibility. As politicians, we are not strangers to gains, losses, and disappointments with the outcome of every political contest. Let us show maturity and good sportsmanship and accept the outcome of this convention with grace. Our party needs all hands on the st steering wheel so that together we can steer the ship of state through the inclement weather of our divisive national politics to the promised land. I thank all of them very much for their spirit of sportsmanship and will continue to count on their cooperation as well as the loyalty to the party. As we conclude this very successful convention of our great party, I know that our opponents in PDP and other opposition parties are now sulking, wearing long faces of sadness, bewilderment, and dismay. They had been hoping and praying to make a fortune out of our misfortune. They were also hoping and praying to capitalize on assumed failures of our party to reap political benefits. For almost seven years now, APC administration at the federal, state, and local 
levels have been battling night and day in order to enhance the livelihood of Nigeria through various policies, programs, and projects. We need to renew our faith in our party and its leadership at all levels in order to herald a new dawn. We need to commit to the resolution of our, of our crisis within the confines of our party constitution. We must resist the temptation to blow every minor personal disagreement into a major party crisis. It is time for us to do things differently. When we quarrel, we open our flanks to our rival political parties that are only too eager to exploit them for their own benefits. We promise you here and now that we shall heal any wounds in our party. We shall effect lasting rec reconciliations among our members and we shall go into the next general election as a strong and united party. We offer our hands of friendship to all our members. I want to assure you that my colleagues and myself will run an open door policy to all members of this great party. No administration in the history of Nigeria or anywhere in the world has performed as much as we have done within the subsequent time, given the enormity of the problems that we inherited from the misrule of the, of the PDP for 16, 16 good years. We have tried over this period of seven years to address key infrastructure and in uplifting the living conditions of the Nigerian people. Projects that, were, that once existed only in the dreams of Nigerians, such as the second Niger Bridge, complete rehabilitation of the Lagos Ibadan Dual Carriageway, the Lagos Ibadan Express Rail, the Abuja Kaduna Express Light Rail, the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano Pipeline, and many others that spread across the length and breadth of this great country have either been started by us and completed during our administration or have been inherited in abundant conditions and have made rapid progress towards completion in the last seven years. No government can satisfy everybody, however hard it works. Some work will always be left undone and every work done will continue to need maintenance, expansion and improvement with time. We are, however, satisfied that the APC government has fulfilled its confidence with the Nigerian people. Of the three main pillars of our promises to the Nigerian people in 2015, that is security, economy, and anti-corruption, much progress has been recorded in all the three areas of this undertaking we gave. APC is set to do much more when Nigerians continue to bestow on us their love, their support, and confidence in the next general election. Together, let us rise and march towards the sunrise in our party and in our country. The time has come for us to show statesmanship to arrive at the new dawn. The time has come for us to be patriotic in words and deeds. The time has come for us to affirm our being the party of the people, for the people, and by the people. At this point, Your Excellency, very distinguished members of this great convention, I wish to appeal to our journalists and media houses to revive uphold the patriotic spirit of the founding fathers of their profession, such as Dr. Namdi Azikwe, Chief of Bafemi Oluwo, Malan Aubakar Imam, Alaja Alade Odeneu, and other media pioneers. Those great pioneers of Nigerian journalism always put the interests of Nigeria and its people above all other considerations, and they always worked for the peace, progress, and prosperity of Nigeria. Journalists 
and everyone else in Nigeria should uphold this spirit of selflessness and patriotism and continue to work hard for the success of the Nigerian project. It is not correct to assume that it is the work of political leaders alone that will make Nigeria great, that other citizens can sit on the sidelines and just observe and criticize. We should all remember the wisdom in the saying that the chain is no stronger than its weakest link. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once more, we wish to thank you very much for the confidence reposed in us and we solemnly promise that we shall not disappoint you and we shall not disappoint the APC and the nation by the grace of God. We shall not disappoint Africa. We shall not disappoint the world. So help us God. Thank you very much for your kind attention. We will, by the grace of God, after our first inaugural meeting of the officers elected in this convention, we will make clear the timeline, the programs that we will embark upon to prepare for the forthcoming election in less than 12 months from today. Thank you very much.